damage you're seeing right now was generated with stable cascade stability AI is new model that was at least just a week ago without further ado let's begin with the video what's up guys and welcome to another video today we're gonna cover some new hugging face spaces that were released in the past week or so honestly don't have time for this but there were some great ones so i just had to hop on and code it to show you guys so without further ado let's begin first off is stable cascade this is a new model released by stability AI. this was released like a week or so ago uh, it's actually publicly available, the, for, uh, the code is fully open sourced on GitHub, as you can see right now on the screen. You can test it out, you can play with it, whatever you want. And I'm going to show you some results, I tested it against uh, ChatGPT's uh, DALI version, uh, which is actually also great, in my opinion, uh, DALI is the king right now, uh, for realism and everything related. But anyways, so Stable Cascade, uh, they go into detail in the page here, explaining the actual process. Basically, all you gotta know is like they take the query, they write through a latent generator that basically generates the space where all of the images uh, are built on. Then they run it through a latent decoder, doing some manipulations and export the actual image at the end. So, what's great about this one is uh, how efficient the model is, right? They used something called Worldchain. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but basically, what it does is like this is some method for uh, running machine learning models, obviously. And uh, the amount of steps that it requires you to perform in order to actually get results is much smaller than what it was uh, before when you were working with SDXL, SDXL Turbo, etc. etc. So you can see how performant it is compared to others, right? So all of the charts here are stable cascade favor uh, by a milestone, apart from like uh, single cases, like uh, playground, etc., and what's not. Um, but what's more important is like, this is the actual result, guys. I just wrote anthropomorphic cat dressed as a pilot. This is basically like a humanized version of a cat, and this looks insanely real, insanely good. I really like the detail here. And I could actually see this in a movie uh, without thinking this was created by AI. Um, but then I also went to ChatGPT. Uh, ask it to use the DALI, of course, to generate some images. So this is what I got back. Um, it created some super long uh, query that returned some weird stuff. Uh, this also did not look great on Cascade either. But on the second prompt, uh, DALI created some insane image. As you can see, the level of detail here is bloody terrific, in my opinion. And this was, this was basically the query uh, that I put back into Stable Cascade. This actually looks pretty good, uh, apart from the fact that it forgot to add the white tree illuminated by moonlight. But overall, I'd say that this is really insane. This is open source, right? So you can fully use it on your own. I'll leave any links down below. So definitely check it out. Up, up next is SDXL Lightning, um, something also new, released by Bydance, uh, which is actually interesting. Bydance is like the parent company of TikTok, uh, if you didn't know. And this model runs insanely fast guys. Just to show you, uh, you can actually select how many inference steps you want. So if you wanted one step, this is how long it would take. Yeah, so this is actually waiting for a GPU. So once you get the GPU available, it's gonna run extremely fast um, normally. So let me just run it one more time. This is on a two-step version right now. So as you can see, it's gonna take a couple of seconds to get the GPU. And once you have the GPU, this is gonna run super fast so from the moment we got the gpu up until the, we got the actual image this took about three and a half seconds as you can see the results here are not great but they are quite decent quite usable i would say and this is also uh, available uh, on nagging face so i'll leave a link for this down below you can check it out you can probably use it as well uh, super interesting stuff um up next is something called eva clip and um, so clip is a model by OpenAI. So as you can see here, this model uh, on the site. And the idea here is basically to detect what's going on in images. So like classification in machine learning, the uh, classification process. So for example, if I give it this, uh, this image and I provide it with two labels, a uh, cat sitting on a table, a cat on a tree, and then I ask it uh, what's going on in the actual image. The model itself will know to detect whether the cat is on a table or whether it's on a tree. So as you can see, clip uh, by OpenAI was able to provide that this is a cat on a table 
with a 99% uh, certainty, whereas Everclip, uh, this model that we are seeing right now, was able to detect that this was a 100% aketonic table. The results are quite similar, but the interesting part here is that Everclip is actually publicly available, right? So you can actually check it out, you can go into the GitHub, this is all open source, you can check out the model itself, how it runs, etc, etc. Up next is YOLO world, also in the world of classification, um, a tad bit different, I just ran it on this image, and as you can see, uh, you can basically provide it with an image, and then ask it to detect parts in the image itself. So for example, if you provide it with categories, it's gonna go uh, like a dog, eye, nose, etc, etc. It's gonna try, try and check out the actual image uh, for these parts. So for example, it can search for a dog, which is in purple, an eye, a nose, a tongue, a car, etc, etc. And this is also publicly available on GitHub, you can actually go into the code, check this stuff out, super interesting stuff.